Welcome to MIDI Flow for AudioBus 3. In case you don't know me, I'm the developer of iMIDI Patch Bay and MIDI Flow, the two apps that allow you to make MIDI routings and MIDI transformations on iOS. The great new thing about AudioBus 3 is its support for MIDI. The same way as you have been using AudioBus to send audio between apps, you can now do the same thing with MIDI. And not only between apps, but also between hardware and apps. Uh, if you have been using MIDI before in iOS, you know that you can easily run into trouble setting things up and uh, the reason for that is that there has never been a standard for how apps should implement MIDI. But now with Audibus 3 there is such a standard and this makes it a lot easier to use and a lot more fun to use even for people who have never used MIDI before. So what is MIDI? Um, MIDI is a protocol that allows you to remote control musical devices or apps. Uh, the most basic command is the note command that a keyboard or a MIDI sequencer can use to tell a synth app to play a note or to stop playing that note. Other commands allow you to control pitch bend and sustain and other effect parameters. Um, so if you have been using an external MIDI keyboard or if you have been making music with, uh, with a MIDI sequencer, you've already been using MIDI. The current version of MIDI Flow is already a MIDI router. However, MIDI Flow for AudioBus comes in a set of independent MIDI apps that can be interconnected in various ways in AudioBus. And this allows you to make a lot of interesting things and I'm excited to give you a little overview of what you can do with those new apps and there will be follow-up videos that give you a more detailed look into those apps. In the new AudioBus 3 app, there are now three buttons that let you switch between the audio routing, the mixer and the MIDI routing. Like for audio, there are three slots for MIDI apps. Into an input slot, you can insert sender apps or real MIDI ports. As an example, I can insert the new MIDI Flow keyboard, which allows you to play another synth app, or even several of them at the same time. To do that, I add the MIDI Flow keyboard to a second pipeline as input and set two different synth apps as destinations in the output slots. In the keyboard app, I can then play those sounds. I can choose between different keyboard layouts for chords and scales and switch the active sounds for each keyboard. And then I can perform with two synths at the same time. I can also add a sequencer as a MIDI input, like Fugue Machine. I select Playhead 1 to be sent to the piano sound. This is really easy to set up. Back in the keyboard app I can now play to that sequence. There are a couple of MIDI effect apps in the MIDI Flow bundle that allow you to manipulate MIDI before it goes to the destination. As an example, I will add the MIDI Flow randomizer as an effect. As you can guess, it adds some randomness to the incoming data. For example, I can randomize the notes and you can hear some weird stuff going on. I can also add randomness to velocities or timing to make tracks sound more natural. The other MIDI Flow effect apps let you do a lot more. For example, you can map notes to a scale, split your keyboard, apply velocity curves and so on. There are some free apps for transposing and monitoring as well. Check out the other videos to learn more about that. So much for that. Now, if you are as excited as I am about the new AudioBus 3 and MIDI, 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and follow MediaFlow on twitter.com slash MediaFlow or facebook.com slash MediaFlow app. There's even more stuff coming. See you next time.